Well, hey friends, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> yep, I'm on my way to the airport to take Patrick back. Uh, we managed to get, well, we didn't get as much as we wanted to, but we got the heavy duty stuff, we think, accomplished um, this past week that he was here. So, still got the rafters to put up on one side, um, but we're moving along. <laughs> Well, it certainly is heavy duty. Uh, the beam that we built was very hard to put together because you're using store-bought lumber, but it ended up coming together and boy is it sturdy and very heavy duty. So we used six... Uh, two by twelves. Two by twelves, 16 foot long. Yep. Uh, we bought two sheets of plywood. We cut those... Three quarters inch thick. Right, we used a gallon of glue when we built it. Mm -hmm. um, what else? We used a lot of screws on each layer to kind of hold it because it was wanting to warp a little bit. Yeah. But we had to pull it down with a C-clamp so we could screw it and get it held yeah. together. That took a, a while right. to manually clamp with one C-clamp. And we put in 28... Half uh, inch all thread. Half inch all thread that we cut at eight inches to give us enough, you know, on each side. Mm -hmm. Then we sandwiched on the top and the bottom uh, two by sixes so that they would actually fit yeah. in that slot. Now, I do have one two by 12, I'm sorry, two by six dead center on the bottom, and then I've got a notch there so that I can put a brace up uh, in there, even though it appears to be holding its own weight, but that'll just give it extra support. But yeah, yeah that was. Uh, but lifting it up there, now that was the trick. It was. Well, I didn't honestly think that the beam was gonna go up that easy, but I believe for how, I think this might be the most heavy duty piece, one piece that we've ever built. Uh, it's certainly the longest and the heftiest, but um, it went up fairly easy, much easier than I thought it was gonna be. I, Partly in fact, you know, due to the fact that the tractor's such a stout beast, you know, that's why we call him Big John. And uh, we we used our old rigging method that we had when we had the old small Kubota, with the hooks and the the uh, quarter inch steel extension. Boy, I know there was a lot of stress on those joints, but it went up and slid right in practically. We just had to get up there and lift up the other end on top of that in post but uh, I was certainly worried about how it was gonna go up anyway all the fun and games are over with now and I have to send him back home but he was talking about coming back in a couple of months because I should have it ready to put um, the, the metal yeah on the roof so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and close this down here because we're getting close to the airport and I'll pick you back up by the way, I know I don't get a chance to say a whole lot whenever this guy and my sister are in front of the camera, but I appreciate y'all tuning in to the review channel and uh, supporting, a, supporting our family up here at the Outpost. It really means a whole lot to and us. And the main channel. And the main channel. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that if you do both. And if you haven't, go, go check out our main channel. It's in the description box below. Uh, but I'll be back in a couple of months, and I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys, and I look forward to seeing you back up at the Outpost. Well, I sure hated taking Patrick to the airport because he is such a big, big help. Besides, I don't get to see him that much anyway. And I do miss him. Um, but I was really, really excited when I got back home because of what I've got in this box right here. This is something that I've been needing and I asked Patrick to order some, but he forgot and I'm certainly glad that he did. Because after many, many, many videos that I have watched of my good buddy Nathan Elliott at Out of the Woods uh, on YouTube. Um, he always gets his blades from Joe Maine. So while Patrick was here, we called up Joe and I'll tell you what, talk about a likable fella and very nice and courteous on the telephone. You couldn't ask uh, to speak to a better person. Anyway, we talked it over and the other nice thing too is uh, 
you know, he's got a big sawmill down there. You've probably watched his, if you watch Nathan's channel, you've probably seen a lot of the sawyers around the U.S. that gather down in Georgia uh, at his place for kind of like a um, lumber festival, if you will, during the year. Anyway, uh, the good thing that since he owns a sawmill, he knows all about these blades and he makes these. If, if you've been on YouTube, like I said, any time at all, you've probably seen a lot of the bigger sawyers on YouTube get their blades from Joe Maine. So, like I said, I called Joe and the, the nice thing was talking to him. Um, he asked me, you know, different questions about the sawmill because he can tell you what type of blades to use. So, if you have bought a sawmill since you've been watching this channel, or if you've bought one since you've been wa watching Nathan's channel, um, and some of the other big sawyers on YouTube, if they're getting their blades from Joe Main, that might tell you something. So, uh, there's a difference, you know, in blades based on the size of your engine, um, the type of wood that you're cutting, um, you know, what you're actually looking to do with the wood once you get it uh, finished and so forth. So, after I answered those questions, he told me what blades would probably work best on my mill, and he's never seen it. It's because he knows sawmills and he knows blades. Anyway, what he did was he sent me um, <clears throat> eight of the regular ones that I normally order. He sent me two that have a different pitch on the teeth, and then he sent me one that was actually larger, um, a little bit wider and a little bit thicker blade. We're going to see if it'll work on the sawmill. I've only got a 16 horse motor on there, but we'll see. Now, I know I'll have to go slower, but I told him to go ahead and send it. And, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? Uh, but it doesn't hurt to try. But uh, the thicker the blade and the uh, type of set that you have on your teeth and so forth, uh, providing that you've got an engine that will pull it, means that it will cut smoother. And so if I was looking to sell lumber, which I'm not, I'm just building with it up here, then I would probably want an engine that would pull that because the smoother your lumber and the better cut you have, you know, that's what the customer is looking for. But I only have myself to please here, right? But uh, anyway, without any further ado, this is one of the um, new inch and a half blades that he sent me right here to try. This will actually, and it's a little bit thicker, this will actually cut a whole lot smoother, okay, as I go, but it will probably, we don't know if it's going to work for sure. Uh, the engine may not be big enough to pull this. But anyway, he sent me one of those. He sent me two more that were, the teeth were set at a little bit different pitch so that I could try to see if it cuts the wood. Because I told him mainly I'm cutting pine and poplar. Now, if I was cutting hardwoods, we would be talking uh, different specs. But um, the sawmill that I've got, uh, I could try a different degree. Now, these right here, these other two blades, are my normal width and gauge. Um, and then he sent me eight of what I normally um, order. But, you know, I was really impressed just by the courtesy that he showed me over the phone before we even talked business, just kind of talking YouTube and channels and so forth. And... When I talk with Nathan, he says that Joe watches all of his videos. And I've been on live streams before where Joe actually tuned into Nathan's live stream. Anyway, I want you guys to know that we're going to try these blades out on our sawmill. And we're definitely going to let you know um, how they work. And if they work, like Nathan says they will, and a lot of these other big sawyers, I think that we're going to be really happy with what we got. Now, if you don't think I know what I'm talking about, I want you to take a look at the amount of blades that are sitting there. So trust me, I've used some blades before on this mill right here. I bought them from Woodmiser, bought them from Norwood, bought them from independent companies like Joe that were local around here. But the more I listened to Nathan's channel, and the more that... Uh, I looked up other big sawyers on YouTube and they're getting their blades from Joe Main. That's the reason I went ahead and ordered them. So friends, if they work out like I think they're going to, that's where we're going to get all of our blades from now on. And the turnaround time was great too because I don't even think that it's been a week. My son was, uh, let's see, we may have called him last Tuesday or Wednesday. So it took about a week to get them here. 
Um, but I'll tell you what, I was excited to get them and I'm going to be more excited to try them, especially with that little bit of different degree set to see if it makes any difference in the wood that I'm using here. And if I can use that bigger blade, I'm going to use it as well. So if you're interested in these blades, give Joe a call. You'll find his information in the description section below. And be sure and stay tuned because we're going to put these things to work and we'll let you know how they do. Friends, thanks so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.